Welcome MCA Middle School to our annual awards uh, celebration for our sixth through eighth grade. We are so proud of all of you as you have made it through this last quarter of a fantastic year through homeschooling and distance learning. You guys have been incredible and in keeping up the pace with your studies, and we're just here tonight to celebrate that. And first, we're going to kick it off with prayer with um, our junior high Bible teacher, Alex Faleo. Hello, everyone. Can you just open up your hearts and let's just pray and invite God's presence in into your homes, onto the stage. We just thank you so much, Jesus, God, that we get to follow you, God, in not just in our academics, God, but in also our spiritual lives. And Father, we thank you so much, God, that you have been with us even through this tumultuous time. And God, we just continue to trust in you that you are going to lead us to our final destination. And Jesus, we thank you so much, God, for being with us and being with our children. And God, being with every student, God, in this place. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Alex, so much. I know so many of you middle school students love uh, Mr. Faleo. He is fantastic. He's put together chapels for us, and, uh, virtual for everyone to view, and what a blessing he has been um, to this school and uh, to these children. I would like to take a couple moments and handle a little bit of uh, some of our things that are coming up. We will be opening up our campus as usual on August 24th for back to school. It's not going to be business as usual, but it'll be class as usual. We have a lot of health department and CDC requirements that we're going to need to do to make this continue to make this uh, a safe and prosperous, prosperous school for your uh, children. I also like to let you know that we are starting summer school for K through sixth grade, and that will begin on June 15th and run through July 17th, and then we'll start up with our summer camp for the rest of the year. So space is limited, so please uh, get your uh, applications in quickly. Let's give a big round of applause to all our teachers that's got us through this COVID-19 period. Yes, and also a big thank you to all you parents. You guys did a tremendous job, and I always tell people, you learn by teaching, and all that algebra you didn't know before, <laughs> you know it now in history. Thank you so much for partnering with us to make this a successful close of our 2020 school year here at Marin Christian Academy. And then I'd like to bring up our sixth grade teacher that kick us off, Miss Amy Oheva. Well, good evening. We welcome you here. I am so proud of the sixth graders this year. You guys have done an awesome job. It is a really big deal to go from elementary school into middle school. And this class overall, I would say you guys have the sweetest spirits and you love the Lord and you have really been a pleasure to teach this year. And I love all of you. Um, as far as our, our awards, first, I would like to mention Peyton Barmaki. Peyton is a friend to all, and Peyton I like to call an old soul. He knows the words and the music to every single old movie that is black and white, and he loves to share those with us, and it always makes me smile. Thank you, Peyton. Next is Olga Chan. Olga is always cheerful. She always has a great big smile when she comes into class. And the award that she has gotten is for her GPA as an honorable mention. Good job, Olga. <laughs> Next, we have David. David is a diligent student. David works hard, and he gets his work done quickly. I never have to worry about David not turning something in. He's on it. David gets the honor roll award. Thank you, David. <laughs> Alexander Jones. AJ, as we like to call him, was a nice addition to our class this year. We had four new students this year to MCA, and AJ was one of them. AJ has a stealth sense of humor, so although he seems very quiet, he can always get you with a one-liner. AJ has earned honor roll and an award for perseverance. Thank you, AJ. <laughs> Jack. 
John is next. John is a hard worker. John wants to do things with excellence and is never afraid to ask questions. He loves God's word and always has lots of questions and input during Bible. John has earned the principles list and he has an award for friendliness. Thank you, John. Kenya is next. Kenya is very bubbly. You always know what Kenya is thinking. There's never any doubt. Um, she gets an honorable mention for her GPA, and Kenya has earned the attendance award. Thank you, Kenya. Emmanuel. Emmanuel was new back to our school this year. He had been here when he was younger. Emmanuel is known for the great big smile that he nearly always wears on his face. He is a good friend to others. He is on the honor roll and he earned an award for excellence in science. Thank you, Emmanuel. <laughs> Soraya is next. Soraya is a hard worker. She, everything she does, she does wholeheartedly, no matter what it is. Soraya is on the principles list. She has earned an award for excellence in math. And one thing that is not on this slide is she earned the President's Education Award for sixth grade. Good job, Soraya. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria has a hunger for God's word, and she wants to make things right. She has earned the Principals List Award and also an award in diligence. Good job, Victoria. <laughs> Brianna. Brianna really has a servant's heart. She loves others, and she serves others, and she always wants to make sure that, that her relationships are right. She has an honorable mention for her GPA, and she has earned the award for compassion. Good job, Brianna. <laughs> Delwyn. It took me about half the year to realize that Delwyn is one of the most creative artists I have had in a class. He can make something out of nothing, and it always amazes me. Delwyn has made the honor roll, and he has an award for attendance. Good job, Delwyn. Nicholas. We like to call him Nico in class sometimes. He's another new addition this year. Nicholas is very friendly. He loves his friends. He genuinely does. Nicholas has earned honor roll and an award for helping hands because he's always willing to serve. Thank you, Nicholas. Leslie. Leslie is another new addition to our class. I was blessed with some great new kids this year. She was new to our school and she was very quiet at first and it took a while to realize her character. She, she, she runs deep. She loves the Lord. She's very artistic. Leslie made the honor roll. She earned an award for attendance and also an award for diligence. Thank you, Leslie. I just want to thank all of the parents in sixth grade. You have been great. I thank you for your input and also just being willing to serve when needed. It has been an interesting year and your kids have pressed through and that really reflects on who you are as parents. So I thank you very much. God bless you. All right, good evening. Welcome. It is a pleasure to be here at MCA. This is my first year, and uh, wow, just what a fun experience working with the junior high team um, and the junior high students. And uh, the parents, thank you. As Ms. Alheva mentioned, the parents of just junior high, you don't see them quite as much as you do in the elementary, but we know that you're there, and thank you for the support. Thank you for all the hard work that you have done in ensuring that your students are really getting, continuing to get a great education um, with our new learning this, out, this, this last quarter. So, excellent. Let's go ahead and start with our slides. All right, our first student is, oh, and I just want to say the seventh grade, they're a great class. They're the biggest class we have at MCA, and they just love to have fun and really enjoy spending time together. 
All right, so Rogans is our first student with an award for an honorable mention for his GPA. Nice job, Rogans. Rollins also gets an honorable mention for his uh, GPA and gets an award for diligence. Just really just continuing to uh, persevere and to work through and to get his work done. <laughs> Next we have Kayla who came mid-year. What a pleasure to get to know her a little bit this year and she gets an award for excellence in PE. Nice job, Kayla. Kendall is next. She gets an award for her GPA and honor roll. Excellent job, Kendall. Nathan, he gets an honorable mention for his GPA, and he also gets an award for diligence in history. Nice job, Nathan. Camila, just a sweet, sweet soul. She gets an honorable mention for her GPA. Nice job. Electra. Electra gets an honorable mention for her GPA, as well as an attendance award. And again, a diligence in history. Excellent, Electra. <laughs> Joy. Joy gets a principal's list award and a speed drill superstar. She was always the first one done with those math speed drills. Excellent, Joy. And also not mentioned on this slide here, she gets an award for the president's education. So excellent job, Joy. <laughs> Andrew has an award for honor roll and attendance. Nice job, Andrew. Amy, Amy gets an honor roll award for her GPA and excellence in science. Great job, Amy. <laughs> Samuel Ducker has made the president's list. That is an honor for GPA. He also has an attendance award and excellence in math. Again, in addition, that was not on this slide, is the president's education award. Excellent job, Samuel. Lucy has an honorable mention for her GPA and an excellent in composition. Great job. <laughs> These junior hires are pretty amazing. All right, Patrick has an honorable mention for his GPA as well as an attendance award. Nice job, Patrick. Sean also has the principal's list. Nice job, Sean, with an attendance award as well. Good job. <laughs> Esther, she came in partway this year and really stepped up and jumped in and uh, did really well with learning the English and asking questions. So she receives honor roll and excellence in math. Great job, Esther. <laughs> Faye has earned the Academic Excellence Award, as well as being on principal's list. She also made the President's Education Award. Excellent, good job, Faye. <laughs> Heidi Nickel earned the award for honor roll for her GPA. Nice job, Heidi. <laughs> Samara earned the honor roll award as well as the attendance award. Nice job, Samara. <laughs> Next we have Haley, who made the principal's list with her GPA and also earned an attendance award. Nice job, Haley. <laughs> Bryce gets an honorable mention for his GPA. Nice job, Bryce, as well as an attendance award. Jack got an honor roll award as well as attendance award. Nice job, Jack. <laughs> Ashley gets an honorable mention award as well as an attendance award. Great job, Ashley. <laughs> and then we have Jaden who came again mid-year this year who got a diligence in history. Excellent, Jaden. And that is our seventh grade class. We're gonna have a great eighth grade group next year. You guys are all 
wonderful, and I wish you the best, and have a great summer. Looking forward to seeing you in the fall. So our graduate, Miss Emily Allensworth tonight, has awards for um, being on the principals list all year, which is a 4.0 GPA. She has the award for being the salutatorian of our class this year. And so Emily is now going to speak to us as our salutatorian. Please allow me to offer my thanks to Mr. Machelik, Ms. Freeman, and everyone who leads MCA on a daily basis. I would also like to thank Ms. Lewis, Ms. Scott, Ms. Borman, Ms. Wilson, Mr. Rich, Mr. Beeman, Ms. Watson, Ms. Geyer, Ms. Olheva, Ms. Blum, and Coach Dove. All of you have played significant roles in my life. I thank all of you for what you have taught me and for being great examples of integrity and to my classmates. Some of us have been together since first grade. We have had laughs, tears, and loads of bouncy house days. Though our eighth grade year has been unique, we have persevered. Some highlights of this year include my friendships with Ms. Vu, Alex Vallejo, Travis Borman, and Tabitha Newberry. Your friendship and leadership um, has added so much joy, and we all know that joy comes from the Lord. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, I know that we will cherish our years together, even if we do so in reflection. A favorite scripture of my mom's, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, 6. I know that we are amazing and we have incredible futures ahead of us. And when we take the spiritual and academic lessons that we have learned from MCA, it will stay with us forever. We often hear how time flies. And yes, eight years have flown by. I thank everyone who has been part of my MCA experience and I would especially like to thank my parents who have never left me astray. You have been there no matter what, and I know that you will always be there for the rest of my life. Thank you for helping me through the highs and the lows, and each and every moment we have shared together. None of this would have been possible if God wouldn't have united us together as a family. I am so thankful for everything that has happened in my life and for what you have done for me. I also want to thank my grandmother, Gigi, for supporting me through each and every year at MCA. I want to thank the rest of my Texas family and all of my family members for encouraging me and lifting me up over the years. I love and thank you from the bottom of my heart. To leave on a parting note, cheers to our MCA class of 2020 and a special shout out to my grandmother in heaven, Tutu. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, 11. None of this would have been possible without the Lord that brought us together at MCA. Thank you. Congratulations, Emily.
next graduate tonight is Mr. Dylan Ring, who was the valedictorian of the class. This is making me cry. <laughs> valedictorian of our class with an award for the President's Excellence in Education. And he also has um, the valedictory speech for us. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all the other graduates and to your families and friends who are celebrating with you today. I am honored and proud to be here representing this school and more specifically this class as a co-valid Victorian. I want to thank all the faculty, the staff, the students, and my family for helping me to get here. Being up here proves to me that I have accomplished all that I have strived for while attending this school. From preschool through the eighth grade, this journey has been long. And if you include this year, very interesting. But we're finally here at the finish line. Ever since we started middle school, we would often talk about walking across this stage in our caps and gowns. But who would have thought that we would be the first and possibly last class to graduate from this school like this. Not being able to sit next to each other or hear our names being called or even hearing all the cheers and applause from the crowd at graduation. This is truly a unique time for all of us. So yes, we had to finish this school year doing Zoom classes, but our class never lost its fun personality and togetherness. Whether it was getting raffle tickets for Bible trivia or writing down the whole song of This Is Me in our weekly history class, we have always maintained our bond. So no matter how we're finishing, it's good to take a step back and reflect on how we all started. In Hawaii, where my family is from, a commonly used word in the Hawaiian language is aloha. I love this word because it has numerous meanings. Aloha commonly means hello, goodbye, and love. And to me, aloha also represents our class's past, present, and future. Let's start with the first common meaning, aloha meaning, meaning hello. Not like hello as in how are you, but hello as in the very beginning when, we, when each one of us started at the school as the new kid. Some of us were here since the very first sea turtles class in preschool or even the early days of Miss Isaac's kindergarten class. But during our time here, we were greeted with new ways of learning, new teachers, new friends, and even some friends that have come and left. And even if we came to the school at different times, we all have a connection to one another. Next meaning, aloha meaning goodbye. Right now, we're saying goodbye. Goodbye to the chapel, where we learn from many different people with different stories. Goodbye to the multimedia room, where we used to run around and play in elementary school years. Goodbye to the lunchroom, where we had so many conversations with our friends. Goodbye to the classroom, where we learned so much important stuff and were introduced to so many new people for the first time. Some of us will continue on at this school, and some of us will move on to a different school. Our paths may one day cross again, but this school will always connect us. It's a part of us. Finally, aloha meaning love. Okay, I'm not talking about love love, but love of what we experienced here at this school. Love for the people we've met along the way. Love for the relationships that we will have in the future. And love for knowing that we have so much more to live and learn. That is the love that we will take with us. So once again, I wanna say thank you to all the parents, teachers, and staff who helped us along the way encouraging us when we needed it, and tolerating us through the hard times. To all the graduates, I send you my congratulations. Aloha, until we meet again. Thank you. Congratulations, Dylan.
our next graduate tonight is Akio Suzuki, who has an award for being on the principal's list with a 4.0 GPA all year, and he is the co-valedictorian of our eighth grade class. So now we'll hear from Akio with his speech. On behalf of the eighth grade class, I would like to thank the teachers and staff for taking care of us and for helping us to evolve educationally and mentally. I also would like to thank my parents for believing and caring for me so I can get to this moment. Graduation is a time to reflect on the past of our memorable memories and a time to look onward to our future. This may seem like the end of the story, but it's the beginning of a new chapter that will unfold great joy for what the future will holds. Hello, fellow classmates. This has been an amazing journey, and I'm thankful for each and every single one of your presence during these amazing years in middle school. Today marks the day that we depart from eighth grade and to progress into our high school years. We all have changed and matured together. Each of us had our own experiences at Marin Christian Academy, a mixture of good and bad times. We had our bumps and bruises in the past, but in the end, we sure gained wisdom from our failures. With this chapter yet to be unfolded, I hope for all of you to succeed and gain great knowledge throughout the rest of your future school years. Keep working hard towards your goals and be happy throughout the process. Thank you for making school more entertaining and humorous. Thank you for letting me know that school isn't so bad after all. I am thankful to be part of an amazing community that served me great memories and joy. It was fun being with all of you, and I wish that we could spend one more day goofing around in Miss O'Hava's history class, for there's sadly always an ending. My ending to this adventurous chapter is your ending too, and I'm glad that we got to experience it all together as a class. Thank you. Congratulations, Akio. Good job. Thank you. Our next graduate tonight is Mr. Jalen Clark, who has an award for being on the honor roll all year. Good job, Jalen. Okay, off you go. You guys are making me cry. I'd love to, but congratulations. Okay, so you're gonna go out the stairs. Off you go, okay? Next graduate tonight is Miss Louise Zhu, who has an award for being on the principal's list all year long and for incredible excellence in math this year. Congratulations, Louise. Our next graduate tonight is Mr. Lucas Brewer, who has an award for being on the honorable mention list all year long and for having excellence in composition. So congratulations, Lucas.
Okay, and our next graduate tonight is Mr. Samuel Bainey Ryer, with awards for being on the principal's list all year, with an award in attendance and an award for excellence in composition. Congratulations, Bainey. And our next graduate tonight is Miss Allison Newman, with awards this year for being on the honor roll all year, for diligence in mathematics, and for the thoughtfulness or the most thoughtful person in her class award, which we think is a great award. So congratulations, Allie. Good job. Our next graduate tonight is Mr. Bradley Calderon with an award for diligence in addition to his diploma. Congratulations, Bradley. Good job. Very good job. And our next graduate tonight is Miss Maisie Maher, in who, in addition to her diploma, has an award for being on the honor roll all year. Congratulations and good job, Maisie. Our next graduate tonight is Miss Vivian Kaplan, who in addition to her diploma has an award for being on the honor roll all year. Good job and congratulations, Vivian. Okay, and two of our graduates who were unable to be with us tonight that we want to honor are Valeria Gradina, who is an amazing distance learner, and Miss Lillian Tweed, who also has an award for being on the honor roll all year long. Congratulations, you guys. Good job. Okay, and our next graduate tonight is Mr. Haig Kupelian, who in addition to his diploma is also getting an award for being on the honorable mention list all year. 
Good job, Haig, and congratulations. Our next graduate tonight is Mr. Neftali Martinez, who in addition to his diploma has an award for being on the honor roll all year long, an award for excellence with his artistic talent. So congratulations, good job Neftali. So ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure and honor to present to you the graduating class of 2020. Well, what a wonderful evening it's been. Um, I hope you're enjoying yourself at home watching this all over the world. And uh, I'd like to take a moment here and thank uh, Keely Nickel, with, uh, who ran our parent association all year. She did a great job on all our events from the uh, annual fund to our um, Auction night, she's just the best, and thank you for all you parents that volunteered and helped throughout this year. We look for your involvement next year. And now I'd like to close us off with inviting our superintendent of schools, Pastor Caleb Kling, to close us off in prayer. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for this year's eighth grade graduation and middle school award ceremony. I wanna give a special thanks to Principal Machelik for a great job adapting and pivoting into this school year. What a crazy, uh, crazy year it has been, but we've all learned so much, and we appreciate his leadership so much. Looking forward to a great school year next year and a, and a wonderful summer. And um, in the midst of all of this, I want to ask you just to pray with me now for um, our students, for our nation at this time. Let's join our hearts together right where you are. Just pray with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness today. Lord, we know that there's a lot going on in our world, but Lord, you work all things together for good. So today we put our trust in you, our faith in you, and Lord, we gather our hearts together as one and we pray, your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, we pray for peace in our nation. We pray, Lord, for healing, solutions, uh, vaccines, all that's necessary for the COVID-19 epidemic, and most of all, we pray a huge blessing on each one of these graduates as they begin their high school career and beyond. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord, that your hand would be mighty on them. We pray, Lord, that your presence would go before them and behind them. Your wraparound presence would be with them always. We pray that they would hear your voice behind them saying, this is the way, walk in it. Lord, we pray that their testimony would be that surely goodness and mercy has followed me all the days of my life. R raise up each one of them as a mighty man and woman after your heart, Lord, that is making a difference in their community and in their generation. We pray your blessing on them today. And we pray all of these things for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you.